In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to view your Substack drafts. Whether you're new to Substack or just need a little refresher, this guide will help you navigate to your drafts with ease. So let's dive right in. First, you'll want to open up your preferred web browser and go to substack.com. Once there, log into your account using your credentials. If you haven't created an account yet, you'll need to sign up. But assuming you're already set up, just enter your email and password or log in with any linked accounts for a seamless experience. Now that you're logged in, direct your attention to the top right corner of the screen where you'll see the dashboard drop down menu. It's usually represented by an icon or your profile picture. Click on that drop down menu and from there select your publication from the list. This step is crucial because it will direct you to the specific dashboard of the publication you're working with. Having selected your publication, you'll be automatically taken to your dashboard. This is the central hub where all your publications activities are managed. You'll find various options here, and it might look a little daunting at first, but don't worry, we'll keep it simple. At the top of your dashboard screen, you'll notice a tab labelled Posts. Go ahead and click on this tab. This section organises all your writings and will help you locate your draft with ease. Once you've clicked posts, you'll see several tabs laid out for you, published, drafts and scheduled. Each tab categorises your posts based on their current status. This organisational feature is incredibly helpful in keeping track of what's finalised and what might still need work. For our purpose today, so that you can see all your unfinished work, click on the drafts tab. Here, you'll find a comprehensive list of all the posts you've started but haven't published yet. It's like a virtual library of your thoughts and ideas waiting to be polished and shared. When you spot the draft you want to work on, simply click on it to open it up. Once opened, you'll be able to make edits, add new content or tweak existing details until everything looks just right. Editing is easy and intuitive and you can keep your draft saved as long as you need before hitting publish. And that's all there is to it. Finding and working on your Substack drafts is a straightforward process and with these steps you should be able to manage your pre-publication content effortlessly. Thanks for watching and happy writing!